It's five o'clock. Time now for your evening news on Bay News 9. Good afternoon to you. I'm Susan Casper. Thanks for watching. And I'm Patricia Scott. Here's what's making news at the five o'clock hour. The verdict is in in the trial for a couple accused of not getting medical attention soon enough for their son who was stung to death by yellow jackets. It only took the jury three and a half hours of deliberations to reach their decision. Bay News 9's Greg Davis is outside the Hillsborough County courtroom with the latest. Greg? Well, that's right, Patricia. This trial was supposed to have an aura of controversy, whether the Johnsons used their religious philosophy to keep uh, from themselves from calling 911, which ultimately led to the death of their two and a half year old son. But their defense attorney was able to keep that controversy out of the courtroom and today the Johnsons were acquitted. The jury find as follows as to the defendant Wiley Johnson in this case. The defendant is not guilty. With the jury find as follows as to, as to the defendant Kelly Johnson in this case. The defendant is not guilty. All Wiley and Kelly verdict. Johnson held hands and wept silently as they Mr. listened Newman, to their not guilty verdict. verdicts Thursday. That verdict cleared them of child neglect charges brought by the state after their two and a half year old son, Harrison, died from more than 430 yellow jacket stings two years ago. The Johnson's attorney, George Tragos, criticized the state for bringing charges in the first place. There's a message to parents at large. You've got to be careful in the state involving themselves in how you take care of your children because they can abuse that ability to involve themselves and they end up hurting people who are actually caring for their children in a proper and correct way. The Johnsons and Tragos shouldered the burden of convincing the all-male jury that they had no criminal intent when they didn't call 911 immediately after their son was attacked. Part of this case, part of the crime is intentionally, knowingly causing harm to your child. I think they saw these people could have never intentionally caused harm to their child and they never did. Jurors quickly left the courthouse after the verdict. State didn't prove its uh, case. Why is that, sir? Didn't prove the elements of the case. Didn't satisfy the law. Prosecutor Chris Moody refused to comment after the trial proceedings today. The old expression of let the punishment fit the crime comes to mind. Now the Johnsons were found not guilty of any crime, yet they, stu they still live with that punishment of having lost their only child, burying him two years ago. Patricia? That's true. Losing a son would be very difficult. Greg, thank you. Well, closing arguments were cut short today. This morning, defense attorney George Tragos pulled a surprise strategic move, which prevented prosecutors from laying out their case to the jury during closing arguments. Now, this morning, Tragos declined to make a closing argument, so prosecutor Chris Moody was not allowed to rebut. So the jury had to decide strictly on the testimony they heard during the trial.